Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we will talk about population attributes. Now, here there are two words. One is population and the second is attribute. What exactly we mean by population? Population is a group of individuals or organisms in a particular area and these organisms either share or compete for the same resources and they reproduce naturally. That means they are interbreeding. Now this interbreeding term is applicable only for the reproductive age organisms. If they are before that age, that means if they come in the pre-reproductive age, then this particular parameter does not apply to them. So this is a group which we call the population. And attributes are certain characteristic features or certain points which are associated only with the population not with the individual we will take few important attributes the first one is called birth rate and along with this we'll also talk about death rate now here when we say it is a population attribute that means birth rate, death rate would be talked about only when you're talking about a population. But if you're talking about an organism, we just use the word birth and death. So it is birth of an organism, death of an organism, birth rate in a population and death rate in a population. So if an individual is born, we say the organism is born, it is birth. But if you're talking about the population, then we will mention the rate and how are we going to calculate. Let us take an example. Say in a pond at a given time, suppose we are counting it now, there are say 20 lotus plants. And in the same pond after one year, we find that there are 28 lotus plants. That means in one year time, there are eight plants which are added. So these are the new plants. So we want to find out the birth rate or formation rate of this particular organism. So eight new added. Originally there were 20. So we would get 0 0.4. So birth rate or addition rate in a population is this much. So this is how we are going to calculate the birth rate or addition rate in a particular population. Now this, when we say a new organism is born, a new organism is formed, we are talking only about one individual or organism. And when we calculate this way, then we are talking about a group of organisms, similar organisms, which are able to interbreed and how many new get added into that group. So this is a population attribute and normally the rate is like per capita. It is explained per capita. Next attribute is sex ratio. Sex ratio means in a given population, what is the percentage of male and what is the percentage of female. So if we talk about a population and if we say that there are 60% males, 40% females or it may vary depending upon the population that we are studying. So then it is the sex ratio in a population how many males and how many females. The third one is as we are talking about the sex ratio, let us also talk about the age distribution. This is also an attribute of a population. 
Age distribution means in that given population, how many individuals come into which particular age bracket. So to understand this, the population has been divided into three age brackets. One is called pre-reproductive. Then comes the reproductive. And then is the post reproductive. Now, if you're talking about human population, because this is going to vary for all uh, different organisms. So if we talk of a uh, human population, pre-reproductive would be before 18. If you're talking about certain plants, say for example, mango, we have seen that mango plants, they remain in a juvenile phase or pre-reproductive phase for five to seven years. And then only they start flowering. So before flowering takes place, they would come under pre-reproductive. Now then there is a period when they produce flowers or humans would be able to reproduce. And after, in plants, we would include here the senescence, that means the aging starts. And in case of humans, normally after 45, when the females get into menopause, that would come under the post-reproductive. Now, depending upon how many of these organisms are there in a population, we would get different types of pyramids. <coughs> and that would, these are called the age pyramids. And these age pyramids would help us understand what is the fate of that particular population. That means, is it a growing population? Is it going to remain steady? Or is it a declining population? So let us first take a population, we'll name it. Let us take a population where the number of pre-reproductive is maximum. That means the individuals which are under 18, if you're talking of the humans, that is the maximum. Then comes the reproductive number and then is the post-reproductive. So this is pre reproductive this is the reproductive and this is the post now what is going to be the fate of this population as the individuals which are under 18 that is maximum that means all that big number will come into the reproductive age when they come into the reproductive age that means they would be able to produce more and more offsprings so this population is or anyway is going to grow. So we will call such a population as growing population. Population of India comes under this. In India, pre-reproductive or the younger lot is more and all those are going to come into the reproductive state. So when they come there, they would reproduce and more number of individuals would be added into this population. So such a population would be termed as growing population and here we can take the example of India has growing population. The second is steady population. Now what would mean by steady? That means whatever is the number, that number pretty much remains same. So here if we say that this is the pre-reproductive and say this is the reproductive. So this is pre and this is reproductive. And for our understanding, number of pre-reproductive is say 1000. Now only 1000 would come under this reproductive bracket. So when only the same number is coming into the reproductive category and when they reproduce, the number of individuals produced would pretty much remain the same. And the post-reproductive. So such a population size would more or less remain constant. Then we call it steady population. Here we take the example of Austria. This country has more or less stable population. And the third one. Let us first draw the pyramid and then we will name it. Say the pre-reproductive is a number. And the reproductive are much more than this. 
and the post reproductive are even more than this. That means the number of pre reproductive is least and this less number would come into the category of reproductive. So when less individuals are in the reproductive bracket, they would produce less offsprings because their number itself is very less. So population is going to decline. So such a population is called declining population. And here we'll take the example of country that is Japan. In Japan, the pre-reproductive uh, age bracket people, they, their number is least. Reproductive is in the mid and the post-reproductive, that means people who are beyond that reproductive age, their number is largest. So such population is going to decline. And keeping this thing in mind, the governments of these countries, they take up various measures. So in case of growing population, country like India or even China, the rules are that if you have a smaller family, the government is going to give incentives. If you have more and more children, the government is going to put some extra burden on you in the form of taxes or whatever. And in case of Japan, the government favors or helps or gives incentives if a couple has the second child. If the couple gets a third child or they have a third baby, the government gives them more and more incentives because the government wants that the population of that country should be increasing. So governments try to help people either to control population or to increase population by giving them various kinds of incentives. So these are few population attributes. Now in the next part, we'll take a few more attributes.